Hey, do you want to get a head start on becoming the next Chip and Joanna Gaines now that Fixer Upper is coming back in 2022? Or maybe be Tarek and Christina from Flip and Flop. Or maybe you are the newer real estate investor and you have no idea where to start and how to do these things. Regardless of where you are, you need to watch this entire series that I made for you. In the meantime, I'm going to suggest three things that you should consider when building your team and searching for an investor-friendly real estate agent. Hi guys, I am Danielle Bulumbu with DBK Real Estate. The tips I'm about to share with you can be utilized even if you do not have a real estate license. Almost all the investors I work with do not have one. Number one, you must become laser focused on what area you want to work in. You want to dial down to the zip code rather than the area code, even schools. Number two, if you don't have access to MLS data, then you're going to want to use sites like Zillow or Realtor.com and look at the last three to six months of transaction in the zip code that you have chosen. What you will be looking for are cash transactions, properties that were distressed and the sales of fully renovated homes. You will then see whose agent were that were involved in this transaction. Typically, you're looking for the agent on the buyer side of cash transaction and the agent on the selling side of the distressed and renovated home. A pattern will eventually develop, which I will cover in a few moments. Number three, you are going to have to get out and connect. By connecting, I mean attending meetups or a group in the area that you are wanting to be working in. Typically, there are investor group or group that are run by agents. You can also connect by driving the neighborhood in the zip code that you have identified and look for homes that are currently going through renovation. We call that drive for dollar. You can typically tell this by dumpster that are in the driveway or the street. Once you have identified those addresses, work backward to find out who the agent was in that transaction. You see, our goal is to come up with at least five to 10 solid agents that you can reach out to and interview. You should want someone that is a community market leader like myself. Those are typically the agent that you are going to want to have on your team. There is no doubt you have more questions. Again, this is Danielle Bilumbu with DBK Real Estate. And my team and I, we have the result that will move you.